You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Hate grows in the United States. According to Marker, there's growing hate in America against Prince Harry and Harry's wife. So many critics for Harry's wife and Prince Harry, it can't be a coincidence. The article states, Prince Harry and Harry's wife met in London and eventually got estranged by the rest of the royal family over alleged racist treatment against Harry's wife, revision of history, pity play, smearing. Prince Harry details in his book that he immediately reacted after taking notice of this behaviour. The couple decided to move to the United States of America, assertion of control by by withdrawal, where they share friendships with numerous powerful people in entertainment. Not so sure that's accurate. But they are apparently not everybody's cup of tea, as many inside the country, and even Canada. I like the way it says, and even Canada, because as we all know, that the maple leafers are all lovely, pleasant people. And therefore, for them to get aerated shows that they're dealing with someone who is an utter odious shit. But they are apparently not everybody's cup of tea, as many inside the country and even Canada have roughly criticised them. We already know how the South Park creators view the royal couple, but there are many more who apparently can't stand them. During a recent podcast episode where Megyn Kelly hosts alongside Emily Jasinski, they spoke about the American people's view of the royal couple. This is what Jasinski said. I think interest in them is really waning. There is a lot of interest, obviously, in people who are willing to criticise them. People are actually, what are you talking about? You're insulting this country. You're insulting decent human beings. And you're trying to make money and profit off of all of it. I think people are absolutely sick of it, to the extent that I actually don't know how much longer they're really going to be able to monetize this at the scale that they were originally, because I don't think there's much interest or an appetite for lionising them. The fact is that the number of supporters that they have is dwindling. The activity of the sugar bots is decreasing. However, the problem that arises is that so many people recognise that there are many others who remain interested in the Sussexes because they basically want to see them crash and burn that people have endured for so long the lies, the hypocrisies, the self-absorbed, self-entitled behaviours, that they want to see them fail. They want to see them exposed. They want, for instance, a court case to go against them. They want there to be exposure about Harry's wife's real age. They want exposure with regard to the position of the children. They want the world to see that Harry's wife is a narcissist, a liar, a grifter, and that Harry has been dragged along by his pink pods. Accordingly, so much of the material is really hate-viewing or grudge-reading that few people actually like her, but they still want to watch the train wreck because they want to see what becomes of her. In actual fact, the most effective thing that people could do would be to not pay her any attention whatsoever. Because as a narcissist, that's what would in effect, in inverted commas, commas, kill her. It would cause her to be weakened. Her fuel levels would plummet, increasing her paranoia, increasing a sense of unease, impending doom. It could lead to a slump, depression, almost a catatonic state as she starved of the very thing that she requires. She would, of course, be able to draw fuel from Prince Harry and people around her, so she's not necessarily going to enter into a fuel crisis. But if the outside world, 
paid her no attention whatsoever, her narcissism would adjust so that it would stop trying to get that attention because it would realise that those oil fields essentially have run dry. The problem is that isn't going to happen anytime soon. The reason being is there's money that's going to be made. Not only will she keep pumping out the PR dollars to ensure that she remains in the public eye, and there are going to be publications that will say, we will take your money all day long. For those that don't take the PR dollars of the Sussexes, will still comment upon them, will still write about them, will still make videos about them, because there's still a huge viewership and readership that wants to see her fail. And thus, it would only work if there was a consensus among all the newspapers, amongst all the bloggers, amongst all the YouTube creators, amongst all of those commenting on social media, that basically says, we will have a Harry's wife blackout. That we will not say anything about her ever again. But none will, because there's a risk that somebody will break those ranks to report on something that happens. And that because there remains a groundswell of interest in her, again, more of the grudge interest, that they will all then flock to that publication so that all the other publications will say, well, we don't want to miss out and allow somebody else to break ranks and reap all the financial reward from that. And therefore, we will continue to report on her. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that Harry's wife is getting it all her own way. Of course, this does mean that she will continue to receive fuel, but she gets challenged again and again and again. And what you might actually see to happen is as a consequence of the growing hatred or dislike of her, that she makes fewer and fewer public appearances. Why? Because her narcissism perceives that in public, she's going to be jeered, booed, criticised, so she just doesn't go there. And instead, what she attempts to do is stage manage appearances with friendly paid audiences, make beige speeches to people that are pre-prepared to cheer it, and that impromptu appearances, large-scale appearances, will stop happening because there's a, such a great risk of people turning up and jeering and booing because they are completely sick of her. The article continues by explaining that Megan Kelly actually loves taking swipes at the royal couple. She does the same job as Piers Morgan does in Britain. However, the reasons she mentions are in no way related to their rift against the rest of the royal family. Kelly said they're loathed now, they lost all their approval. They were above water before their Netflix special and the book Spare. And now they're below water, both of them. They're the least popular royals. They've overtaken Prince Andrew as the least popular royals. And that took some doing. Megan Kelly's eyes light up every time. She has to go after either Harry's wife or Harry. Martha reporting on the apparent growing hatred for them which is unsurprising, as even those Americans that once had an interest or supported her have grown very weary of her conduct and behaviour. And as I've mentioned, the utilisation of the titles for Lilibet and Archie is not going to endear her to Americans any time soon. Once again, her narcissism continues to create these problems for her, and ultimately it will have an impact upon her in terms of the places that she will go to. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.